not sure um, everyone knows what today is. Today is called Pentecost Sunday. This is um, it's a day where on the seventh day, seventh Sunday after Easter is where the Holy Spirit ascended upon the upper room. I want you to imagine today that you're in the upper room. And I believe we are in the upper room. In those days, there was no music. They were probably in an attic upstairs somewhere in the house or in a building. But we have music, we have a place of worship. If God can ascend, if the Holy Spirit can ascend in those times, God, the Holy Spirit will ascend today as well. I don't know how many of you believe how much of this spirit is so valuable in this time. Many people say, many scholars say, today is the birthday of church. It is where the church was born because of the Holy Spirit. We may be celebrating our anniversaries every year for our church, but the church was really and truly born when the Holy Spirit ascended upon us. The church is not the building, the church is, is us, the, building, the, the people of God. Today I just want you to just think just about the Holy Spirit. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, where would our ministry be? Where would our life be? Where would we be right now if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit? If it wasn't for that Pentecostal day when the Holy Spirit did not, did not ascend, imagine how our lives would have been. The Bible says, the Pentecostal signifies the coming of the Holy Spirit. It signifies when the Holy Spirit enabled us, filled us with the power of God. I don't know how many of you are in this place broken, weak, shattered. But I've come to remind you, the Holy Spirit is going to ascend upon you today. In this upper room, start to transform you mentally, physically emotionally as we've been meditating, meditating upon the mind I've come to remind you the Holy Spirit ascended to fix your mind as well He has ascended to fix you mentally, physically spiritually emotionally whatever you think is impossible whatever you think is big that you cannot do I've come to remind you Jesus died and rose and went to heaven and sent the Holy Spirit just for you I'm going to give you two minutes I'm going to give you two minutes to prepare your spirit and ask the Holy Spirit I need you today I need you in my life I need you to run my life Lord I remember this day as you came with the Holy Ghost, Riba Satani Sidi Anabas, Rahau Shiki Kanabasiri the Bos City, Raka Siki Kanabos Satari City, Raka Kinao Siri the Bas City. The Bible says each of them was not missed out. Every single one in the upper room were filled with the Holy Spirit. Today I'm, I'm expecting God to have that same experience today. Let each and every one of you not leave this place without being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Acts 2 verse 1, they were all together in one place and it said suddenly a sound from heaven came like a rushing wind. And it filled them with power. It says it enabled them to speak in tongues. And I don't know how many of you want the Holy Spirit to enable you to do something that you cannot do. 
A sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw that each and every one of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Come on, people of God, you can do better than this. You can lift your voices. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, if it wasn't for His guidance, for His revelations, for His protections, for His growing inside of you, Thank the Holy Spirit. Raka sita na kana bashiris. Raba kana bashanti rita na basiti ya kana wamis. Rita na kana bashanta rita na si. Let us have that same experience today, O Father. The same experience. The same experience. Suddenly. Suddenly. Let the wind. Blow aside. Oh yes, Holy Spirit. Oh I just want to read a verse in the Bible. We all know about the story about the Pentecost. But I want to read um, Acts 2. 14, how, how this event drew large crowds. Peter stood up and started to minister. And if you read along the verse up to 41, it says, by the end of this event, the church grew by 3,000 members. I believe the Holy Spirit is, gonna, is, is in a season where this church is going to grow by the Holy Spirit. As, as, as this is a day where God is reminding us God's going to multiply, not multiply us. The Holy Spirit is going to multiply us. Suddenly, the upper room will fill. Suddenly, the church grew because of this one event. This one event took place in history. The Holy Spirit started to move mightily. It grew, it grew, it multiplied. I've come to tell you people of God, the Holy Spirit is going to multiply someone today. Multiply your provisions. Multiply the members of this church, the musicians, the choir. Multiplication is coming, people of God. This is what the Holy Spirit does. Multiplication. Multiplication. I thank you, Lord, for this Holy Spirit. How many of you can say that without this Holy Spirit, you cannot live a Christian life? I thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Today, I just want you to just remember the purpose of this day. Today, it's just going to be all about the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit minister to you, invade you, invade your life, Transform your mind. Let it transform you completely. Let this Holy Spirit, allow this Holy Spirit to come into your life. Allow this Holy Spirit to transform you.
just think about the Holy Spirit. Just imagine how the Holy Spirit came down on that day and how it filled the upper room. The Bible says it filled them in a way where they cannot contain the Holy Spirit. It enabled them to speak in new languages. desperate are you to receive this Holy Spirit?
this ox for the power ox for the Holy Spirit to shake this nation to shake this community It was that tangible of a presence that was in that place. The fire of God came into the upper room and consumed that room. I like when the Bible says not one of them was left out. Each and every one that were in the upper room were filled with the Holy Spirit. Why? There was waiting, there was waiting, there was thirsty, there was thirsty. They were hungry for the Holy Spirit. Today I want to challenge you. How hungry are you for the Holy Spirit? The more hungry you are, or the more hungry you are, the more the Holy Spirit will fill you. If you are waiting, if you are waiting, if you are waiting, it is a, you're in good hands. You're in a good season. It's a season where the Holy Spirit is filling this church. Filling this church. Multiplying this church. You're in the right season. A season where the Holy Spirit is filling. Filling you spiritually. Filling you emotionally. Filling you with, with gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will start to do marvelous things in this church, in your life. Rakaho siti bahari na kira siti ro. Rakha siti dehori kira. Your eyes will not. Your eyes will be astonished. Your ears will be surprised to see the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It's going to invade this church in a supernatural way. I can feel the strong, tangible presence of the Holy Spirit. 
Where you start to see visions of fire. Where you start to see or hear the wind of the Holy Spirit. May this upper room be filled with the Holy Spirit. May the fire of God conceive you. Let this be the season of feast where the Holy Spirit is filling you, filling your children, filling our musicians, filling our choir. Filling our elders in this church, filling our Sunday school children, filling our pastor, filling our family. Lord, we need this Holy Spirit. We want this Holy Spirit to invade in our lives, in invade in our church. We want to see the real of the Holy Spirit. Let this Holy Spirit shift our ministry, shift in our spiritual life. Let it bring shift in our finances, a shift in our prayer life. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Just utter the name of the Holy Spirit throughout the service. Just call upon the Holy Spirit. That's it. I'm asking you today. Don't praise anyone. Don't praise God. Just call the Holy Spirit. You see how He is going to fill you today. It's a divine time.
Throughout the service, let the Holy Spirit minister to us in Jesus' name. 